We're not beating around the bush anymore. The air we breathe has a direct effect on our risk for Alzheimer's disease. There is no cure for Alzheimer's disease as we sit here right now. So why would we not pay attention to that? Similarly, when we talk about depression, a condition affecting hundreds of millions of people around the world, if air pollution is a major contributor to this condition, which it seems to be, wouldn't we want to pay attention to this? And finally, I'll just say, you know, you may not be as worried about the long-term risk for mood disorders for dementia. Air pollution changes how you think today. If you want to be sharp at work, in your office, in your home, the air you breathe is a major driver of this effect. A recent study looked at the difference between a polluted office and a clean office and then gauged people's brain abilities and found that cognition dropped off dramatically when there were higher levels of air pollution in the office. So I would say this is absolutely the hidden toxin that we need to be talking about as it relates to brain health. And the good news is there are many things that we can be doing to help improve our air quality today.